Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was listen. Listen, listen, listen. got a bitch I lick. On my shot, we lit. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto. Back at it again, man. And damn, dog, I cannot catch a damn break, yo. It's just like, every day, dog, you gotta be some stupid shit with these guys, right? So, obviously, y'all can see I'm already talking about Mountain DeFi. That stupid bastard lead dev, which is an idiot. Fucking pussy, all right? I don't care how you want to call it, but let's get into it, right? This guy actually stole 60 some BNB, all right? Man, this is some he pretended bullshit! That he was some some uh, other guy, something about Carlos or some other bullshit, all right? So, anyways, he made us some bullshit story. Then, uh, once they caught him and they, they saw his wallet, he immediately made us some bullshit story. Um, I'm not going to say what it says right here. It says something about uh, how he uses fire hydrants for butt plugs. And, you know, he's trying to get the money for his surgery so he can move upwards towards mailboxes now. So, I don't know, something like that. But, anyways, <clears throat> like I said, man, fuck him. That was a pussy. But um, as soon as he found out that, you know, his shit's KYC, everyone can see where the, all the money went, what wallet it is, where it's at. Move this man! Immediately, bro. I guess probably, what, what time is it right now? 1130. Probably about like 10, 20 minutes ago, dude. He came back, all right? And he supposedly sent all the money back. He supposedly, uh, he was like, oh, man, I'm, I feel bad, blah, blah, blah. Some kind of garbage, right? So the Mountain DeFi guy, I guess the owner or whatever. He came over here to, to say that, uh, yeah, this Carlos guy supposedly sent it all back and all this other damn bullshit, all right? I don't give a fuck who the fuck this Carlos is or who the man, they're both bullshit, bro. They're both fucking just full of shit. Same fucking guy don't even matter, dog. Anyone who does some lame ass shit like that, bro, that's, that's stupid, bro. Like, what's the whole point of doing farms and doing all that shit, dog? But, uh, <clears throat> anyways, dog, like I said, dude, he got caught. He didn't know what to do. He panicked, so he shot it all back. So anyone who was in mountain, you know, that money's coming back, all right? So, man, y'all, this is this is the stuff y'all got to deal with, all right? You know, I, you know, I ain't got no control over all this shit, man. This is just how it is. But uh, yeah, man, we're gonna keep it moving, all right? So we'll move on to uh, the good news, all right? So my boy Ben Swab, you already know, <clears throat> dropped off. But uh, like all good boys do, man, you know, they find their way back a bit. So he came back home for a while. You know, he's chilling. He's gonna he's gonna bounce again. You already know what's up. So, you know, if you guys were in here on the non native side, you know, you guys were able to pull, you know, some good little farming in here. It's gonna be worth a little bit more, so make sure you guys sell off, all right? But uh we'll keep it moving, right? To the other good dog. Cerberus. Cerberus is still popping out like a beast. It is just insane. I I'm pretty sure it's because of the coin listing, you know, it's getting a lot of love, a lot of new blood, everyone's liking it, jumping in. Um for everyone else, you know, as soon as these get, you know, once this gets a uh, 1%, for sure, for sure, I'm going to take all this out, you know. It is what it is, especially up on here. Once I see the uh, price action hit closer to, like, $0.12, cents, $0.11 cents again, then I'm going to pull this out. But, um, yeah, man, service has been great, dude, so can't, I don't have no complaints. I, uh, we'll keep it moving, man. So, Moonlight, Moonlight's going to be uh, launching the farm in 8 hours, all right, so... There's really nothing else to kind of say about this. They already had that pre-sale. Some people have had problems. Other people have been uh, pushing out pretty good. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, we'll just wait out for that farm. And once the farm drops, we'll, you know, you're going to pay attention to the price action. If it's dropping down, you know, you want to wait it out. As soon as it, you know, gets a level, you want to jump in. If you're already in the non-native sites, bro, that doesn't apply to you, bro. You just jump in, let it sit. And then um, since there's harvest locks, you're going to have to wait the harvest lock. But... You know, hopefully, uh, since hopefully since the uh, harvest locks are all even all around, you know, maybe it'll last. But to be real with you guys, like I said, whenever I see that the harvest locks are incredibly low on the non on the native side versus the non-native, yo, man, that always lets me know that uh, the price action that shit's gonna drop heavy every two hours before you guys get yours. So, like I always tell you guys, make sure you guys make your calculations <clears throat> based on that that you know that drop so if anything just whatever it is that you're at on the first two hours drop that by like 60 percent and that should be your real number but um yeah man we'll just keep it moving all right so like i said the timer eight hours from now all right <clears throat> so like i said right now the timer is gonna be eight hours from now so just uh 
on my side, you know, it's 11.30 in the morning. But uh, for you guys, like I said, you know, the countdown's going to be right here. All right, so just keep it moving. Cracking, man. So cracking uh, popped off, and uh, that shit was pretty chill. Some people weren't able to get in because, you know, that shit, that shit was super wild out. So I was just sitting back, and uh, I was just waiting on the, uh, on the price to kind of chill out. When I saw it drip down around here, I think it was, like, hitting just at, like, when I saw it, like, around 68 or something like that, I saw some some green going back up. So, <clears throat> I told my boys, you know, jump in. This was going to be a good uh, buying point. And uh, as of right now, you know, it's just up a bit. Like, I always say fair launches and, you know, stealth launches. You know, <clears throat> I'm not trying to throw all my money into there. So, you know, for me, I only, I'm throwing in point one, something like that. You know, I'm not a uh, b and I'm not really throwing in point five. I'm not throwing in a full b and you know, because you never know with these, some of these launches, they launch good, and, you know, the price action is great, other ones, the price action is terrible, dude, and right from their little fair launch, whatever, you can just see down at the bottom, there's something bleeding it out, just non-stop, dude, just bleeding the damn thing out, so, <clears throat> make sure you guys pay attention to the uh, price charts, you know, and if you guys uh, ain't making money, dude, just, you know, bounce out, wait it out, if you see it drop out, see it catch a level, once it starts rising up again, jump back in, you know, if you see it go up, if it starts dropping out and, you know, you're in profit, just take that profit, dude. No big deal. But, um, yeah, man, <clears throat> cracking. The, uh, the farm countdown, we'll pop it off right now. Just so you can see, the farm's going to be in 20 hours from now. So, from wherever you're at, just come right here down to the side. There's going to be a farm. Fair launch is already over, so just hit that farming countdown, right? And then, uh, we'll keep it moving, man. Snow Leopard. All right, so Snow Leopard... They, uh, they updated all their socials, so the Twitter's on, the Telegram's up, everything's clean. <clears throat> like I said before, everything seems pretty chill on, on the dock side, you know, there's nothing crazy that's, like, um, revolutionary, but at the same time, you know, they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing, so hopefully, like I said, they have a good launch and everything be chill. And uh, if, <clears throat> if you guys are into fair launches, the uh, fair launch is going to be on Wednesday. So, like I said, just check the docks on the side. If you come over here on the side where it says where it says more, hit the docks. And then uh, that'll give you all the info you guys need. You guys will be able to see when the farming starts. Same thing, all right? Now, if we go over here down to the uh, actual farm to check out how the farms are, let's see. We'll see that, obviously, they, they have no harvest lock. So, if you guys, you know, you guys don't like the harvest lock, you guys like being in these non-natives, and you guys like being able to consistently um, harvest, this will probably be the spot for you guys, all right? This will probably be the spot for you guys, all right? So, um, like I said, man, we'll just keep it moving, man. That's Snow Leopard. Uh, all these other ones at the top, you know, like they're trash. Dude, I kind of don't really want to go over stuff, but I do want to go over Hydra because Hydra popped off, homie. And when I mean it popped off, I mean it, it popped off clean, dude. It was making nice money right off the launch. It was rising up, dude. Everything was right at launch. <clears throat> so it was just easy money everything was real cool for like about 20 30 minutes and then after that you know you guys everyone started seeing the big drop i was already ready to drop out so i'm always trying to tell people you know you got to make certain moves of, according to what your your numbers are so if the percentage that you're getting in that hour is like let's say 100 percent, you know if your token value is dropping like 30 40 percent you know that's a little too high you know you kind of want to make sure that your token value is always going up while you farm or it stays about the same or, you know, it doesn't go, you know, lower than 10 to 20 percent. The impermanent loss isn't that bad. Like even if you lose 20 percent in value after pulling all your stuff out from the impermanent loss, you technically only lost like maybe 10 percent, whatever. But, um, yeah, you know, you just, you just never want to be farming in a loss ever. Like you're not going to be able to make up for it. So um, Hydra was uh, was pulling back in a bit. Some people kind of jump back in. I'm out. <clears throat> I'll, once you know, once I jump in and I take good money and it's good profit, dude. Like I'm out. My number was uh like seventy some bucks from putting in like a uh, hundred something dollars, you know. So that was basically like I would say what a sixty to seventy, maybe eighty percent gain profit. So you know that's to me, man. That's a win, bro. And like I always say, man. Sometimes if you're not if you're not sure that a farm's gonna just pop off clean, you know, don't put a lot of money into it. If, if uh, and, <clears throat> and I'm referring to the native side, you know what I mean? If you're going to have your uh, LPs be sitting, you know, like, I understand that, dude. I have my LPs sitting, you know, in Cerberus. I've, I've had that dot just sitting in there. Like, dude, I understand that. You can just let that sit. The price, if it recovers, cool, man. You make good money while it's farming. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. But um, 
with Hydra, you know, I was only on the native side. <clears throat> I was going to do some BNB BUSD, but I had that all tied up with, uh, with BenSwap. And, you know, at the time, BenSwap was doing pretty good. So whenever something's doing good, I don't like to move shit around. All right, y'all. And you already know, man. Lastly, Vesuvius. All right. Still putting this on the radar, dude. Do not sleep on it, bro. If this shit pops off, it's going to pop off crazy, all right? The dev, that fool's going to be doing buybacks. Like, like you don't even believe. Trust me, dog. Like, same guy from Greyhound, bro. Just like Greyhound, dude. That fool was just doing buybacks, buybacks. That fool was trying his hardest to stabilize that price, all right? So, like I'm saying, man, Vesuvius, all right? Put that on your radar. I'm not telling you guys to ape in. I'm just telling you, make sure you guys pay attention to it, all right? And if it looks like it's popping off, dump in, all right? If it looks like it ain't popping off, it looks junk, whatever it is, you know, stay away from it, you know? This isn't me giving you that automatic pass that, you know, go crazy. It's just me telling you, you know, stare at it, look at it, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, like I said, dude, Vesuvius, pay attention to it, man. The farms look pretty fat. <clears throat> like I said, man, the farms, they look pretty fat. So, uh, yeah, man, the pools... They ain't, they ain't too kind of crazy, you know, but he does have a little selection. I was kind of wishing there would be some cake or, you know, some AS, some extra stuff. But, yeah, man, it is what it is. So, like I said, yo, Vesuvius, keep it down. The countdown, yo, is popping off. So, like I said, I'll pop it off right here so you guys can see how easy it is. Boom, 22 hours, all right? Don't sleep. Yeah, man, I just want to bring y'all that new stuff, bro. Mountain. Stupid ass idiot, bro. I don't know what the hell he was thinking, bro. That guy's stupid. I, I'm, I'm thinking, man, he probably just thought, like, oh, it's the black market and this is the internet. These people don't know nothing. And, like, ah, you stupid boy. These people sniff everything. Nah, man, they probably know where you live right now, dog. <laughs> nah, man, I hope not, bro. But, yeah, man, this fucking this lame ass fool sent all the money back. So, if you guys were in Mountain, you know. You guys were probably clenching the butt cheeks. I know what's up. But, uh, yeah, man, this is how it is, bro. It's the Wild West. So, like I said, y'all got to be gotta, gotta be careful with everything, man. Nothing's guaranteed. You guys can't be like, oh, is this, you know, guaranteed? Is this good for him to put in 10000 Like, dude, I don't know, bro. Mountain, you could have put 10000 in there and just got robbed, you know? Yeah, man, who knows? But, uh, like I said, man, sometimes you got to just try to find something that's stable, stick with it. All these new ones, you know, you, you got to keep your uh, your money kind of low when you jump in. And if everything's cool, man, you know, dump in, put in some more. But um, if not, you know, it is what it is. Because uh, that little entry point of 4%, bro, that's 4% period. So if you have $10,000, bro, and you don't know what's up with the farm, bro, just throw it 1000 That's 10 They're just going to take 4% off your 1000 you know. And the farm, if it starts popping off, it looks good, then, you know, put in the rest, bro. But like I said, man, you guys always got to be, you guys got to be careful with all this, all right? So, uh, yeah, man, with that being said, yo, that's been my time. If y'all like the time, like always, man, make sure you guys smash that like button. And then if you guys have any comments, you guys got questions, throw them down below or join the Telegram, bro. We got a whole bunch of people. We're growing crazy. And, um, yeah, man, we're doing the airdrop. So everyone has been sending that, uh, that address, dude. Um, as soon as it hits, I think, like, June 2nd, you know, we're going to post uh, the winners and low-key. There might be a few more extra winners. We'll see what's up. <laughs> you know. But uh yeah, man. And lastly, yo, man. If y'all ain't subscribed yet, yo. Bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> All right, homies. Y'all stay up. Peace. <laughs> Hang up, hang up.